Hey guys, this is Jamie from Yugo MCC, and I'm here today to do a update on the Hieratic deck. Um, I bought some packs yesterday, and I finished the Hieratic deck, and I just I dueled with it, and I didn't. It wasn't as good as I expected it to be when I'd finished. So I actually I, I just sat down for like an hour, um, just thinking, what can I do with it? And I came up with a pretty neat idea. I don't think it's been done yet, and I don't think many people are gonna do it because it's not something that everyone's gonna think of. Um, I've uh, mixed it. It's still, you know, mainly a hieratic deck, but I've added uh, support monsters that just bring out the best in them. I uh, dueled it yesterday, and uh, out of the three duels I had, I won all three without having to XYZ, without having to synchro, none of that, just with pure power and uh, clearing the field. So um, I'll start. I'll start with the monsters, and uh, I'll let you guys decide what you think about it. I have one uh, hieratic dragon of Esset. Uh, basically, you can normal summon him, he's only on a thousand, but then he doesn't stay on the field, you use him as a tribute. I have one, a Hieratic Seal of the Drank King. This is one card that I added, because I did actually take the three out, but I do realise that now, because it's a Gemini, it's counted as a um, norm, like a normal monster in the graveyard, which is a really good card for later on, when I'll show you what I, I mean. I have two, Hieratic Dragon of Nebthet. Uh, basically, you can uh, you know special summon in by tributing a hieratic monster, and then you can tribute one f hieratic monster from your field or your hand and destroy one monster on the field. And then obviously, when you've distributed that monster, you get their effect of being able to special summon a hieratic normal monster, things like that. I have two hieratic dragon of Sue. Uh, this guy uh, basically is the same as the first one, apart from he destroys the back row, so he destroys spells and traps. Uh, this is another change that I've made. Uh, I've only got two of these now. I did have three. Don't find the use in three. Two is perfect for my deck, perfect for me to run with it. So I'm, I'm really happy that I did that. Uh, another change that I've made is here. Uh, I only had two of these. Now I have three. My favourite uh, Hieratic card. Uh, basically, you can special summon in by banishing one uh, light dragon and one light normal dragon type monster in your graveyard, which after maybe four turns is quite a lot because you tribute in special summoning and they're all going to the graveyard so he's really easy to get out as long as you pull him after like maybe two turns which I really like and um, these are that's that's all the hieratics uh, the rest of the cards are different I decided to um, make a hieratic light swan deck um, and uh, I've got to say it does work really well because obviously the light swans put things from your deck to your graveyard which as soon as Two dragon types in the graveyard. I can then special summon insanely powerful monsters, and it works really well. I have a one heron light swan monk. Uh, she allows me to um, at the end phase send the top three cards to my deck to the graveyard. Uh, I must control this face up card to activate this, and uh, it's really she's a really good card. You know, level four one six hundred light monsters. That's something else that goes really well. Uh, I have two Gareth light swan warrior. Uh, basically, his effect is um, each time a card is sent from a deck to the graveyard by the effect of a light swarm monster, um, except this one, uh, I can send the top two cards of my deck to the graveyard, then draw one card for each light swarm monster uh, that was sent to the graveyard. So he's basically there because it is, it is a cool effect when I need it, but um, he's a level 4 uh, 1850 attack. So he's, a, he's a kind of like a beat stick of the level 4s. And the last light swarms that I have are two. Jane, Light Sword Paladin. Um, basically, this effect is uh, if this card attacks an opponent's monster, it gains 300 attack during the damage step only. During each of the my end phases, I can send the top two cards from a deck to the graveyard. That is probably the best Light Swan I have in this deck. Um, I don't. You're probably thinking, why is it put Light Swans with them? But trust me when I say this, they go really well together. There will be some deck uh, dual videos going up pretty soon, and you'll be able to see why I've done it. Uh, I do have a few more monsters. I have a Light Ray Diablos. Uh, this is one of those where as soon as I've got uh, four light monsters in the graveyard, uh, I can special summon him. And then once per turn, I can uh, target one field spell card and two other cards on the field and destroy them. That card, as effect, is insane. It really is. It's a really good effect. I, I love that card. But this is my favourite Light Ray. I've got two of him. He's called uh, D. Diabolos. Uh, if, as long as I've got five lights in my, uh, in my graveyard with different names, 
can special summon him. Um, I can banish one light monster per turn uh, from a graveyard, and uh, I can target one set uh, card my opponent controls, and uh, I reveal that target, and then I can choose whether to put it on the top of the deck or the bottom of the deck. So if I like, if I choose a mirror force, obviously I'm like, well, that can go to the bottom of your deck. So, uh, but if I choose a crap card, that will just set there for no reason. Put it at the top. Um, for me, this is my favourite card in the deck. I've got three. A very in my deck. It's Lady of the D. Um, at first, I just started collecting her. I wanted three because she looked cool. But then I actually read the effect, and uh, basically, my dragons can't be targeted uh, by an attack. And when she's attacked, I can discard one dragon type from my hand, and uh, that goes to the graveyard instead. So she's a really good card. That's my favourite card. I'm thinking about calling it a Lady of the D. Um, Hieratic deck or Lady of the D deck or something like that. Something cool. I'm going to think of a cool name for it because I really love this deck. And the last two cards are Blue Eyes. Uh, one is a proxy because I am getting the other one today. But I wanted to put this video up now. So uh, obviously that one's the proxy as you can probably tell. And then that's uh, my real Blue Eyes. Uh, I'm getting another one. But yeah, they're, they're the monsters. Um, you know, even if you just try it out on Duelist Network, you'll see what I'm talking about when uh, you do it. Uh, these are the traps. Got a bottomless trap hole, a dark bribe. Because I've made this deck, so it's a pretty much a one turn kill or you know a quick kill, really powerful straight up attacks. Dark bribe really helps when you're getting mirror force things like that. I have a photon current. When a light monster is attacked, uh, I can activate it and it gains the attack equal to the attacking monster's attack, and obviously then I'm on more attack. <laughs> a lot of attack was in that word uh, sentence then. Some light swan uh, cards. I've got light swan barrier. Uh, obviously, it, um, I can select a uh, face up light swan warrior. Well, no, it's all light swan warriors. And uh, when it's selected as an attack target, I can send the top two cards of my deck to negate the attack. It pretty much keeps my light swans on the field and allows me to keep ditching cards from my deck to my graveyard and then allowing me to special summon really strong monsters. I then have. Uh, I didn't want to run three, but then I actually I just thought about it. And I'm like. No, yeah, I'm going to run three. It's a light spiral. Uh, each time one of my cards is sent from a deck to the graveyard by the effect of a light spawn monster, I can remove from play the top two cards of my opponent's deck. Now, if I can get that down, and maybe just two of these, that means every turn I can ditch... How many? I can ditch at least six, card, six cards from my opponent's deck to the graveyard, which is a really good effect with getting rid of your opponent's monsters and cards and hopefully it's the best ones that I ditch. Then I have two Hieratic Seal of Banishment. Uh, basically with this you tribute a Hieratic monster and um, you can then kill, uh, banish one card on the field that my opponent controls. And obviously you also get the Hieratic's effect of being tributed to be able to special summon another. Uh, spells, I've got a Magical Mallet. Uh, if I've got a crap hand or you know I just want to change monsters or something I'll use Magical Mallet and get rid of them. MST comes Stella Bell. Uh, light monsters effects cannot be negated. Symbol of Heritage. Uh, this is basically for uh, maybe Lady of the D when I've got all three in the graveyard. Uh, I can special summon one out or um, Heretic of the Azer. Uh, again, when I've got all three in the graveyard, I can special summon him out. And uh, it allows you to special summon one that you've got three of in the graveyard. So it's, it's a really good card. I have Fountain in the Sky. Uh, when, a light, when a light monster is destroyed by battle and sent uh, to my graveyard, I can remove that monster from play and gain its life points instead. So if I can set, like, activate that and it's a continuous, um, basically, as long as they keep attacking me, I keep gaining life points. That is the what I call one of the most perfect cards you can get. I have an uh, enemy controller. Um, yeah, you activate it, tribute one of your hieratics, you get their effect to special summon a monster, then you take control of your opponent's monster, and then because you've got then you've got two on the field instead of having just one, you can obviously maybe get a blue eyes or you know a stronger monster, which you know it's a really good card to have in this deck. I'm not gonna run three because I, I believe three would be too many, it wouldn't it'd lose its worth. And then I've got two, Hieratic Seal of Convocation. Uh, had a Hieratic mon uh, monster from my deck to my hand. And the last three cards in the main deck I have are Hieratic Seal of Supremacy. Special summon one Hieratic monster from my hand. That is probably one of the best 
like spells you can get you can get for this deck. Uh, do have an extra deck for this deck now. Uh, it's not the most amazing extra deck, but um, it 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 does it, it'll do. I've only got two cards for it. And I have a number ten Illuminate. Uh, that's just uh, for if I've got two level uh, three level fours and I just want to get something out stronger. And then I've got the uh, Neo Galaxy's Fountain Dragon, which it does work in this deck because I do have a lot of level eights that can keep special summoning. But this card is mainly for my Carol Curries, and I'm going to explain that in a later video because I I can synchro four times for level eights with pretty much any cards in my hand. So I've got four level eights, tribute three, get Galaxy Eyes, and that is a very good move for my Carol Curries. But yeah, that's the uh, Hieratic deck. Uh, not sure what I'm going to call it yet. I'm thinking maybe Light Swan Hieratics or something like that. I want to incorporate the Lady of the D name into it. So if anyone's got any suggestions, you know, comment below and then I'll change the title to whatever you guys think is best. So uh, yeah, comment, like and subscribe guys.